This video will go over the two types of nervous systems and how to determine which one you are, as covered in the chapter We Are All Different in the book The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez. In a nutshell, we all have different body types with varying hereditary factors which will affect how certain foods will respond in our bodies. For some, a diet consisting mostly of meat will greatly benefit them. They may even lose weight and have tons of energy. On the other hand, eating this way could literally make some people sick. A good example of this is the Dalai Lama, who is the spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhism. In the 1960s, he met a man from India who was on a strict vegetarian diet. The Dalai Lama was so impressed that he decided to adapt the same diet as well. Two years later, he became very sick with hepatitis. Hepatitis, by the way, is a viral infection of the liver that can be deadly. After trying various treatments recommended by his doctor that ultimately didn't work, it was then recommended that he start eating meat again. It was after this point he recovered from the sickness and became well again. For whatever reason, a strict vegetarian diet had lowered his body's defense system, which led to him getting sick. Today, the Dalai Lama continues to eat meat as part of his diet. Two types of nervous systems. First, let's go over a little more about the way your body's nervous system works. All of your organs, such as your brain, heart, lungs, etc., as well as your glands, such as the thyroid and pancreas, are controlled by the autonomic nervous system. The word autonomic, by the way, refers to the part of the nervous system that functions involuntarily, like with breathing, the beating of your heart, digestion, etc. This system of nerves is also divided into two systems. One of the two systems is called the sympathetic nervous system, and the other is called the parasympathetic nervous system. In a sense, these two parts of the autonomic nervous system work opposite to one another, but oddly enough, they also complement each other, similar to yin and yang. But before I go on, let's simplify things. For the rest of this video, I'm going to refer to the sympathetic nervous system as the excited nervous system and the parasympathetic will be referred to as a passive nervous system. You'll understand more about these names as I go on. One of the main functions of the excited nervous system could be summed up as fight or flight because these nerves stimulate action. In contrast, the main function of the passive nervous system could be summed up as rest and digest. People with excited or passive nervous systems will have metabolisms that react differently depending on the more dominant nervous system. For example, those with an excited nervous system will produce much more of the stress hormones, adrenaline and cortisol, while those with a passive nervous system produce a greater amount of calming substances like serotonin, which has a calming effect. How to determine which nervous system type you are. When it comes to determining what types of food will be best for your body, you will first need to figure out which way your body is leaning towards in terms of your nervous system. The advantage of knowing if your body leans more towards excited or passive is that it will allow you to adapt the 2 by one or 3 by one diet according to your nervous system type, thus allowing for even more success. First of all, it is important to know that if you are overweight, obese, or have other health problems like diabetes, that you are most definitely leaning towards one nervous system type or the other. It is not possible to have these problems and still have a totally balanced nervous system. In the chapter, We Are All Different, you will find a variety of charts that describe some of the common differences between the excited and passive nervous systems. However, the easiest way to determine which way your body is leaning is with a simple five-question test. Make note of your answers as you go through these. Question 1. When you eat red meat, like beef or pork, do you find it hard for your body to digest it? Question two, when you eat saturated fats like butter or heavy cream, do you feel bad physically? Question three, when you eat late at night, do you have trouble with digestion? Question four, when you eat late at night, do you have trouble sleeping? Question five, do you have trouble sleeping in general or do you wake up easily? If you answered yes to any of these, even just one, your body is leaning more towards the excited nervous system type. If you answered no to all five questions, then you are the passive nervous system type. Next, I'm going to go over what types of food will be best depending on which nervous system type you're leaning towards. If you determine that you're leaning towards the excited nervous system type, your diet should consist of the following. Mostly vegetables and salads, moderate consumption of low-fat white meats like chicken, turkey, and white fish, small portions of low-fat cheese, eggs cooked in very little oil, boiled or poached, 
low fat and low sugar yogurt, moderate consumption of coffee, if you like coffee, and a low consumption of refined carbohydrates. If you determine that you're leaning towards the passive nervous system type, your diet should consist of the following. Mostly meats, especially red meats like beef, pork, and salmon, any type of cheese, eggs cooked any style, yogurts low in sugar and carbohydrates, vegetables and salads combined with meat or seafood, moderate consumption of coffee, again, if you like coffee, and a low consumption of refined carbohydrates. Again, it's best to apply this information along with a 2 by one or 3 by one diet. To learn more about this topic, read the chapter, We Are All Different, in the book, The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez.